Welcome along, ladies and gentlemen. Well, today I'm rather excited because I've managed to get my sweaty little mitts on the brand new M1000R. If you cast your minds back, I think it was to August last year, I just rode the S version of this and I absolutely loved it. And I sort of praised it and said it's you know, one of my favourite naked motorcycles just because of the way it handled, you know, the riding position, the power delivery. Well, this is the M version. This has had the BMW Motorsport treatment. So this now has the full S1000RR engine in it. And not even last year's engine. This is the latest S1000RR engine. So I think it's 207 horsepower in this bike now. The old version obviously didn't have the shift cam. And I think it's about 170 horsepower on the old version. This is now the full fat shift cam 207 horsepower engines this makes this the most powerful naked motorcycle you can buy so how is it going to handle the country roads in the uk you may have seen like it riding these in spain on the twisties what's it like in the uk our little country lanes i'm going to let you know so join me for this first ride video where we take this little beauty out for a bit of a thrash and i'll let you know what it's like so if that sounds of interest get yourself a cup of something spicy and chopsy roll the intro So two years ago, I had myself a, a long-term S1000RR. You know, I did a whole series of videos on that bike during the season, but I got myself a Pro Race NCAN for it. So what I've done, this bike comes with a, an Akropovich NCAN, you know, like a titanium NCAN, but it's like the road legal version. I've been that off and I've fitted my trusty little Pro Race bean tin to the end of this bike. So it's going to be, it's a little bit more noise. These aren't very loud anyway, because there's like three or four catalytic converters in this exhaust. So they're not massively loud and you can fit a bean tin without it being ridiculous. So we've got a bit more volume in this. And I also got to say a big thank you to Bill at Calimoto TV for my selfie stick extender here. He put a link to these little mounts you can get to secure the selfie stick securely to the to the bike where the rear foot pegs would go so i'm trying out also my insta 360 on a selfie stick behind me so there may be a few views of my big fat bottom if that works out but without further ado i think we'll jump on this bike this bike is completely stock and as they come apart from this fly screen which is a little extra add-on all the m levers i think that comes as part of this bike uh, and of course this the bike has the wings now the reason bmw said they can get away with putting that 207 horsepower engine in a naked machine is because it's got the wings to keep it under control at high speed but uh, let's see it's also got the forged wheels standard on the m version you can you can this isn't the competition but you may have seen the black one with all the carbon fiber well that's the bike with the competition pack so this doesn't have the competition back this bike is i think it's just a shot just a tad over twenty thousand pound this it's got the m calipers forged wheel it's got all the bits and bobs on though so anyway i'm, I'm babbling let's jump on it <laughs> This thing is fast. And when I say fast, I mean bloody fast. I mean, it's 207 horsepower. Of course, that is all at the top end, you know. But what, what really surprises on this bike is how hard it pulls. I mean, I was expecting it to be fast, you know, expecting it to be quick. But it's got so much drive. Because of the shift cam, you've got the two different cam profiles you know it, it it changes the cam profile so you've got good bottom end and also that insane top end as well bloody hell oh calm it down calm it this thing just wants to go this just wants to go and I, i've ridden this back from bmw yesterday so this is a first ride but i have spent an hour or so on this bike yesterday and uh it's quite mad it's one of those bikes, despite being a straight four, when normally a straight four is quite relaxed, you know, it encourages you to ride sensibly because you haven't got sort of V4 grunt at the bottom. But this one, the whole, the riding position, 
it's a sort of aggressive stance where you've got weight over the front and because of the way it powers delivered and the suspension setup is much firmer than the, the, the S1000R it encourages you to maybe go a little bit quicker than you should so anyway this just just calm it all down a little bit and go through the basics so the riding position on this bike feels the same as the old S1000R but I think the bars are a little bit wider BMW have widened the bars a little bit and put on a nice little M emblem for you but you, you're in, it's an aggressive naked this it's not a sit up and beg naked you've got weight over the front wheel and a completely flat bar and I really like that position for a naked motorcycle I like the fact that you've got weight over the front it gives you good feedback from the front wheel the pegs are don't feel too high nice nice height on the foot pegs but they're sort of behind you a little bit so you're sort of cantered forward bit of weight on your wrists that's not for everyone because some, you know people like sometimes people like their naked to be very upright this is an aggressive naked I like it it's a bit like the Super Duke maybe even a little bit more aggressive than the Super Duke and because this is the M bike it's got the rock hard M seat the seat is way too hard on this machine it's the same seat which was on the M Sport double R which I had before and even on the sports bike it was too hard where you had more weight even more weight over the front on this you're sat on that seat and uh, it's too hard I'd have to get the standard seat on this bike get rid of that M you save the M for the track maybe the suspension for the M is also firmer straight away I could tell it was a much firmer ride than uh, what we had on the S1000R it does have the full electronic suspension it's Marzocchi suspension but the, the springs are firmer and it's set up firmer on, on the adjustability as well so the damping's been increased and the springs are bigger you know the springs are thicker so but yeah it feels much more aggressive I mean the, the, the S1000R felt quite aggressive this is like another level of aggressiveness <laughs> and that suspension this is in dynamic but that suspension is still you know very firm I can feel everything which is going on from the tarmac it's got forged wheels which is standard on the M you can the competition version comes with the carbon wheels but this has forged so they're still lighter than the stock wheels but the direction changes the handling of this bike really are something else really are quite oh this is that pipe quite incredible I don't like the tyres this bike comes on it comes on the Bridgestones the RS11s I had those on my ZXR on, the, on my uh, H2 when I bought it I don't like them I've had a few little slides on this I think they take a little bit too long to warm up so if I bought one of these I may even change those tyres because I really don't like them <laughs> another thing which is incredible on this bike is the brakes afternoon the brakes are the most aggressive brakes I've ever tried the bite on these brakes is unbelievable it's got these M Sport calipers but the bite is just insane I've, I've never ridden a bike with such aggressive brakes as this it's almost like it's got race pads in or something I think they're made by by Nissan these M brakes but they're so powerful and there's so much feel there is a lot of feel there but they're really really aggressive I like that <laughs> it does make you push on and think oh I've got loads of braking I can stop if I get myself in a bit of trouble which is probably not the best attitude to have quick shifter blipper is beautiful as it is on this engine you know the quick shifter blipper on this bike is incredible really smooth really lovely I think the bike comes with these bar end mirrors which, which it looks great but filtering's a bit of a pain because it's really wide the bars are wide anyway then you've got the bar ends on it just pushes the width so it's, it makes it difficult to filter in traffic with those bar ends and if you go over sort of 70 there's a lot of vibration in them as well and you can't really see anything out of them would be a slight criticism of those bars but oh, I'm not really going to moan about mirrors they're, they're really good and you can, I can see everything behind me but it's just on the motorway speeds there's a lot of vibes because this engine is a little bit buzzy it always was a little bit buzzy you know and oh we don't want to pass this guy oh into the 30 now it's still a little bit buzzing I can feel a little bit of buzzing through the tank 
into my nether region, which is actually quite nice. But the bars do buzz a lot. I mean, it's not too extreme. I could live with it. Straight falls can be a bit buzzy like this. You know, this engine does buzz a little bit more than some of the others. Yeah, you've just got to learn to live with it. It's, I don't find it a problem. And I do suffer from a bit of carpal tunnel on that tunnel and, you know, the bars. I do suffer with that, but I don't find it a problem on this. What BMW have done is they've re-geared this. They've dropped a tooth at the rear. So they've actually geared it down slightly from the S1000R, which is something I said I would do if I bought one of these. I, fa I found it was a bit too high geared, so it's got the shift cam, but I think the gearing change has given that a lot more punch at the bottom. The downside of that, of course, is at motorway speeds, you've got more buzzing because it's revving higher. I think on the original S1000R, that's why they geared it like they did, because, you know, it helped reduce the buzziness through the bars at motorway speeds. With the M, they thought, sod that, it's all about performance, we'll have a bit more buzzing, and we'll have it geared as it should be. And uh, yeah, that, that's a nice change, that. But what is fantastic about this bike, and, you know, it's the same on all of the BMW S, the S range as well, you know, the, the, the double R and the single R, because it's a straight four, it's super compliant when you come to going through town and, and something like that. So, you know, when the speeds drop and you're in traffic, it's just beautiful to ride slowly and you've got plenty of drive. I mean, that six gear at 35, there's drive there. You know, it, on the V4 or twin, you'd have it would be a little bit lumpy if you tried to load the engine. You know, straight fours don't mind that. And that makes this bike super easy to live with. There's also a race mode on this as well. So you can adjust all of the traction control like you can on the S1000 double R. I don't think that was an option on the old S. <laughs> Oh, the front gets light. Oh, th this thing is just so aggressive. In every respect, it's aggressive. Encourages you just to go faster and faster. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Those brakes are so good. Oh, this this is this is an insane motorcycle. It is intense. I think not insane, intense. It's a really intense bike. This bike has just had its first service, and it looks like they haven't reset the shift light. So it starts the shift light starts going at anything over 8,000 revs. I need to adjust that because it has been serviced. It has had its first service. So ignore the flashing light. I'm just going to check my camera, and make sure it's still still there. I didn't bring my, um, my oh, 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 it's okay, I thought I lost it, <laughs> it's just collapsed, oh, I thought it had fallen off then, oh, you didn't see much there then, did you, let's try that again, I don't know how long that was up for, <laughs> I thought I'd lost it then, for a horrible moment, I thought I'd lost it, there's those M Sport calipers, so powerful, so so aggressive those brakes. It's also got an adjustable steering damper here, which I think is needed because I think when the wheel starts coming up, it gets it gets a little bit lively. This bike, the electronics are so good on the BMWs. I, I think anyone else's electronics wouldn't be able to handle this sort of power in a naked machine. The Ducati ones are really good as well, but I don't think the Japanese electronics could never handle and tame. A bike like this, you know, it is, the electronics are so good on the BMWs and even the wheel sort of kept down, it's kept under control, you know, it's not too um, wheelie prone this. How fast it revs, it's madness. I was really looking forward to riding this bike, you know, I, I love the S1000R so much, the M doesn't disappoint. But this is almost now a £20,000 motorcycle. You know, it's getting very expensive. But I say it's very expensive. I think the sport version of the single R, of the S single R, I think it's about 15 for the one with electronic suspension. You know, the one you actually want with the heated grips and all the goodies. But once you spec that up, 
with the forged wheels, you know, all of the other bits. It's, it's actually more expensive than this. So you could argue that this is actually good value because when you spec the S1000R up, you arrive at a price which is higher than the M for the same bits. And of course, then you won't have the engine. You won't have the 207 horsepower engine. Oh, overtaking power is just absolutely incredible. Quick shifter is so good. Right. Hopefully we've got a dry hill climb. Oh yeah. On the tr on the track this thing would be absolutely the drive out of the corners. Oh man, this is good. So light on his feet. Ooh, that wasn't full throttle. Because it's too fast for full throttle. <laughs> that mid range. Yeah, that's uh, that's a well handling motorcycle if ever I've seen one. <laughs> Wow, I was a lot, I could have pushed harder, but I'm a, I don't like these tyres very much. Or I would have pushed a bit harder, but you could go so fast on this. It's definitely a step, a step up of the handling over the S1000R. Of course, the, the, having the forged wheels will help. The one I borrowed didn't have forged wheels. So that'll really help the direction change and stuff. But that, that, that suspension setup, oh. It's all much more aggressive. So it's, it's harder work, you know, when you do want to go slower, I'd say it's harder work, but my God, does it reward when you want to go through a set of twisties like that? That's incredible. Woo! The bike also has, you know, heated grips, cruise control. You know, BMW always do that so well, don't they? They give you all the mod cons, all the comfort features as well i mean look at this road i mean this is in the race mode now and look it's it's every bump in the road the bike's moving around i can, I can feel everything oh sounds good let's go let's try let's go back to die now let's go back to road yeah it's, it has backed up a little bit i can still feel everything though drive out the corner and those brakes are just wow those brakes are intense <laughs> this is one intense motorcycle I, th I think more so than anything else I've ever ridden you'd think with a straight four it would be a bit tamer a bit more controllable it is controllable and you saw when I gunned it the wheelie control and the front was coming up a little bit but the bike's sort of all in control, but my God, it's so fast. It's so fast. And everything is just right there and sharp. Yeah, th this, is, this is a bit special. This is definitely a little bit special. That's, that's not even full throttle again. Oh my word, this thing! <laughs> it is ridiculous! It is ridiculous! I'm so impressed with electronics! Jeez, it's quick! This would be incredible! On track! Maybe I'll try and see if I can take it on track this year! It's where it belongs, to be fair. Try and calm down, Chopsy. You don't have to ride it at a million miles an hour everywhere. Can we just chillax? Can you chillax on this bike? No, I'm not sure you can. <laughs> that pole, is, it's got sort of V4 pickup almost. It's really impressive. I mean, it's hard to say how much better it is 
than the S1000R because the S1000R is brilliant. And if you got an S1000R and you're thinking of upgrading, now is it worth upgrading? That, that's a really difficult question to answer. I'd, I'd have to back to back them. <laughs> oh, that's bumpy. I've not ridden the S1000R since last year and I did love it. I mean the S1000R could actually be a better road bike because everything's a lot more relaxed on that bike even though it is quite an aggressive riding position you haven't got that really really hard suspension you know it's a little bit more relaxed maybe a better road bike than this if you want a bike you want to do sort of 50% road 50% track then the M is the one <laughs> this thing this thing is uh, an absolute hooligan. It's not Jekyll and Hyde. This is Hyde and the Hulk. Oh, it's very, very good BMW. I think it's too much for me though. I don't know. Oh, well, that's what I'm gonna, one of the things I want to find out while having this for a couple of weeks is to try and spend a bit of time on it and just see if I can be sensible on this bike because I think I might really like one I, I wouldn't mind one of these you know I wouldn't mind an S1000R as well I mean after I rode that you know I said I wanted to try and get a long term I didn't I didn't manage it but at the moment the, you know I'm thinking I couldn't control myself on this I'd end up dead or in jail but that's what I want to see on this two-week loner. Can I slow down? Can I be sensible? When I'm doing 25 now, let's set the cruise control. 27 miles an hour, look. No, this is what's so good about this bike. You know, you can just do stuff like that. But yeah, can I be sensible on it? If I, you know, ride it like I owned it, rather than like I stole it. I don't know, that's what we've got to see. So if you've enjoyed that, I will be back on this bike again. I'd like to do some sort of comparison with this machine. That's not going to happen in the two weeks I've got this now, but I'll bring you a follow-up video on this bike before it goes back. And then I think this is going to have to be compared to something. Let me know what you want to see me and Greg do a comparison with. Perhaps the Street Fighter, because that's the other over 200 horsepower sort of super naked and the new Street Fighter I, I've criticised it before but the 2023 version it seems to have sorted out all of the the aggressive the fueling issues I had and it's even got a bigger tank now for the fuel range so we could put it against the Street Fighter what would be pretty cool is to put it against the Brutale the MV Brutale 1000 because that's also a straight four making I think similar power so if wheels motorcycles have got a Brutale as a demo, maybe we can put this against the Brutale in the battle of the straight four super naked. Could be interesting. Or maybe both, the Street Fighter and the Brutale. But anyway, I'm going to turn you off now before I incriminate myself <laughs> going too fast on the public highway. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.